In Japan, war is quite literally banned. Since the end of the Second World War, Japan's constitution has renounced the threat or use of force. War as a means to settle international disputes is outlawed. That's according to Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution. The military can only be used for defensive purposes. But that can now, for the first time, be rewritten. Shinzo Abe has secured a super majority in parliamentary elections. That means his coalition has at least two thirds of the seats. And with that majority, he can now push to rewrite the Constitution, in particular, Article 9. Now, Abe has made no secret of the fact that he wants to. The rise of China's military and its expansionism in the South and East China Sea, together with North Korea's increasing belligerence, is helping his cause. But he is likely to move slowly. After the vote, Abe would only say he wants to deepen the debate on the Constitution. There's no timeline or indeed no real government plan as yet. Even when there is, any change has to be put to the people in a national referendum, all of which could take years. It's still a very sensitive subject in Japan, but attitudes could be changing. Exit polls on Sunday showed 49% of voters supported revising the Constitution, 44% were against. And the vote came just days before the UN rules on China's highly controversial claims to ownership of the South China Sea. Now, that territory includes islands which Japan claims as their own. And with China already saying it will ignore the UN ruling, the Japanese Prime Minister may find his support for constitutional change continues to grow. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Hong Kong.